Let's talk about where we are in markets then. We've seen a lot of concern around global growth. At the same time, some are still talking about a Goldilocks scenario in the US. How concerned are you about the global growth story? Uh, sure, we're definitely seeing global slowdown. Um, we think we have actually peaked in global growth last year and there have been a lot of data points to show that the global economy is definitely slowing down. That doesn't mean it's the end of life as we know it. Mm. We think uh, global growth is still growth. There will be uh, a lot of sort of bumps along, along the way, particularly because of what's happening with trade data, because of what's happening with the trade issues. But actually there's a lot of stimulus that's been put uh, basically in the pipeline, whether it is from central banks, the Fed, now the ECB, actually in China too, that we think that actually chances are that um, we might have been seeing the worst of um, the slowdown. OK, so we've seen monetary uh, policymakers turning dovish, but at the same time we have seen some more fiscal levers being being pulled. Um, let me talk to you about where we've come over the past 10 years, Gadir, and the reason for this, of course, is that this week we mark 10 years since the start of the bull market. I've got a chart here that is that basically underlines the point that small and mid-cap stocks in the US have done better than the, than the S&P, but the S&P hasn't done bad. And if you were invested in Amazon, you'd be up 2,600 percent since 10 years ago. It, is this a bull market that in your view continues? Actually what we're seeing in, um, in the US in particular but also in tech stocks is a whole new phenomena. We are actually moving into um, economy 4.0. Uh, we're talking about digitization, we're talking about using uh, technology and the change in technology to enable uh, loads of uh, changes uh, globally. That kind of explains Amazon. The landscape of what companies are doing and where are actually they are getting their growth is changing. Mm. Um, we're talking now about Internet of Things, outsourcing, um, the um, moving on to online sales. And that was all enabled with the fact that we have now Internet and uh, smartphone penetration, which is very high globally. So we're talking about a completely different economy even to the one that we've seen 10 years ago. Yes, so in that 10 years we've seen a big transformation, as you say, more digital-based uh, companies. It's interesting to me then that we still have very low unemployment, don't we? Because we might have thought that in the last 10 years maybe we would have needed people less and technology more. But actually we see low unemployment in the US and, and, in, uh, and in the UK, certainly not elsewhere in Europe maybe. And I want to ask you about the jobs data in the US later. Are you expecting it to reinforce fears around global growth or reinforce hopes for the US economy? Can I take, dial that back a little bit and mm. say that actually the investment that we've had in digital, digitization and in um, sort of the R&D, if you like, that the companies are putting in order to change the way efficiency is gotten out of the companies has been all about tech and it was about trans transformative tech. Um, but in the actual economies themselves have been doing very well since the financial crisis with the stimulus and everything else to go with that and that has allowed employment to be quite high actually uh, globally and um, what we're seeing in the last um, few data points is actually return to maybe wage growth inflation. So actually because tightness of the, um, of the labour market that we are seeing everywhere in the US, we're seeing some of it in, in Europe considering mm. the economy is very weak, we're seeing that um, wages are actually improving. So for us, um, it's very important to see what happens from now on in terms of, uh, of that sort of wages and wage, wage demand.